Welcome to 1st of August Holy Blessing. Supreme Father says, May you be a knowledgeable soul who uplifts those who defame you and one who finishes any thoughts of causing anyone harm. Even if someone defames you, causes you harm or insults you every day, let there not be any feelings of dislike for that one in your mind. It's a very high stage. It can only happen when we have no connection or no ego. Ego can be with our qualities. Ego can be of our limitations actually a negative pride negative ego ego can be about our accomplishments about our uh, talents and if anybody pinpoints or points finger towards that we get hurt if we have got low pride or low negative ego that also gets, gets affected so even if someone defames you causes you harm or insults you every day let there be not be any feelings of dislike for that one in your mind to uplift those who defame you is the task of knowledgeable souls your children insulted the father for 63 births we called him omnipresent he's everywhere he's in everything he's in animals he's he's actually present even in the dirtiest places on earth because he's everywhere and he's the one who gives you trouble he's the one who kills people he's the one who makes them alive he's the one who gives you a child he takes away your child so it's like you know he's a murderer also and he's someone who snatches things away from you that is an extremity of praise god says you children insulted the father for 63 births i only give you peace i only give you love i don't do all those other things imagine a father doing that to his child a physical father obviously you don't expect that right so how would a supreme father do that and the father still looked at you with benevolent benevolent vision looked at us so follow the father to be a knowledgeable soul is to have feelings of benevolence for everyone do not have the slightest thought of causing anyone harm we can tell somebody that this is the limit if you cross this we'll take this action against you and you're not literally going to take that action but you tell them that you're going to take this action so that they fall in their place they fall into the line they don't misjudge you they don't take you for granted tell them that yes we can also give you harm but we're not doing it so don't take advantage of us that can be said but doing harm purposely finding happiness in doing so that's what god says abstain from that om shanti